I'm Brandon with Redstone Solar. In this video, we're going to be installing two of the new LG batteries. These uh, ship in separate pallets, one battery per pallet. There's, there's four boxes. So you'll have the upper control unit in a separate box. Down here, you'll have some of the uh, uh, components, the fasteners and the bottom plate. And then these two boxes below, you'll have battery A and battery B. So you have two brackets. One is the bracket that goes onto the wall. And then one is a plate that spans between the, the control unit on the battery and the bracket on the wall like that. Here's the base. It's not a wall mount, they sit on the floor. And so the two battery packs will sit on this base. Also some long bolts will secure the battery control unit to the top of the battery. And then get some different grommets for bringing the wiring into the top of the control unit. Then some little zip ties to secure the wiring inside of the control unit. You have these two plates that come in the box. These will fasten to the bottom on the side of the two packs in order to connect them to the base plate and connect them together. There's a separate plastic bag with this thick white paper. This could be helpful for your first time setting up the battery, but essentially you have this template that you can take to the wall with some masking tape. But this template is the actual height of the battery. So if you, if you take this up against the wall and have it rest on the floor, you know exactly how high your bracket needs to be off the floor. You can adjust it to make sure that you're, you're hitting the studs and getting your uh, bolts or lacks where you want them. What you doing there, Carl? Just marking for the holes. We just marked for studs. The one right there in the center we're gonna try to hit. And then we'll put this a uh, toggle bolt or molly bolt on the other side. We do it right here. So pack B goes in the back. Notice that there's these two cardboard pieces that specifically say they're spacers. These are extremely useful when you're installing. This is the same depth as this bracket. So you can put it up against the wall or the foundation to know exactly what the distance has to be um, from the wall. And then they'll also be handy for installing the uh, top portion of the battery. This is where the uh, battery connections will be. So here's the battery control unit. You got to get this set up here and then you have to plug in wires. And when you plug this in, there's a little red tab. Press that tab in. So next you take the top portion of the battery off. That's going to expose um, the area where you need to put these long flanges in. Those flanges will go down and connect the top portion of the battery to the individual battery packs. And at the same time, you'll also put a plate down that'll connect the battery pack to the wall. Well, you'll see this heat sink at the top of the battery. It's passively cooled, so you don't have any moving parts. It's really nice. It makes it more efficient um, because you're not using electricity to run any uh, cooling. And it's quiet. And it's quiet. And, and no, it's quiet. <laughs> no, yeah. fan no, no fans. No. Yeah. yeah. So, Carl, talk to me about the slope of the floor. This one doesn't seem to be too bad, but... If the floor is sloped, you have to put shims underneath the, the bottom of the battery to get it straight enough or it won't go to the mount. I guess you could always just put the mount on crooked. So. Just mount the battery, <laughs> just, the yeah. battery's not low. <laughs> That'd drive me crazy.
that you want a capacitor to last 20, 20 years, you're just going to derate it a whole, bu whole bunch. Well, that, that would be a factor. So someone may say, okay, well, my, I topped off my batteries during the day. Uh, a little more. 